In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the newton raphson iterative formula. Now, the newton raphson iterative formula is another method for trying to locate the root of an equation. So let's say we've got, uh, here's our x-axis, and we've got a curve that looks something like this. Okay? And this is the root that I'm trying to find here. Okay? Now, um, let's say we're looking at a particular point, P. This is going to be my y is equal to f of x. So, if I'm looking at that particular point, P, then where it appears on the curve will have coordinates P, f of P. Let's call that point um, Q. So, Q will have the coordinates P, F of P. Now, what we've looked at so far is two methods. We've had the bisection method and we've had linear interpolation. Um, what we're going to utilise here is actually the gradient of the tangent to that curve. So we're actually going to look at the tangent at the point Q. So that would be that line there. Okay? So, let's say that this point where I'm intersecting with the x-axis is R. And this is going to be the estimate to my curve. Now that line, or the estimate of the solution, sorry, the estimate of the root. Now that line is going to make an angle theta with the horizontal. Okay? So I've got... Three coordinates here, R, P, and Q. So, if I'm looking at the gradient of that line, I can express it in two different ways. The gradient of this line is going to be F prime of P. Okay, So, if I'm substituting P into the first derivative, that will give me the gradient of the tangent. So I could express it that way. I could also express it in the way of tan theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, So tan theta is qp over rp. Now, the reason why I can do that is because tan theta is the opposite divided by the adjacent. Okay, so it's the difference in the y coordinates divided by the difference in the x coordinates. But qp, that length, I know to be f of p. Okay? And if these two things are the same, I can say that f prime of p is equal to f of p over rp. So if I rearrange that, that means that the distance rp is equal to f of p divided by f prime of p. Just through rearranging that equation. So if I've got that distance now, I can then say that an estimate to my root, my approximation, will be P on the x-axis, take away RP. So this will be the approximation to my root. Now if I put that as an iterative formula, then that will allow me to home in after several um, several attempts at this. So if I turn that into an iterative formula, then it would become x of n plus 1, the new point that I'm looking at, will be equal to the old point, take away, so that's the p, take away f of the old point divided by f prime of that old point. And this is the newton raphson iterative formula that we want to be able to use. 
So we'll have an initial point P, and then I can substitute it into this formula, and it will give me an approximation to the root. Now this speeds up the process of finding the root quite considerably. Um, it doesn't, it might not look obvious as to how this is going to work, but you would then put that point in, so you've done it once, then you'd put that point in, you'd find the equation for that tangent, and you can see that crosses there, you would go down to the curve, and then you would make another tangent line, so it might cross it there for example, and so on and so forth, and you keep on moving inwards using tangent lines towards your root. Okay? So this is the formula that we're going to be using, and that's the one that I'm going to show you in the next video.